What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome. Today I'm going to show you how to edit videos and pictures with your Mavic Mini or your Mavic Air 2 using the DJI Fly app. That's right, the app that you use to fly this drone is also a video editor and there's two really simple ways that you can edit videos and share them pretty quickly and easily with family and friends. Let's check it out. All right, I'm gonna show you using my Mavic Mini today. Chris has the Mavic Air 2, so uh, they work the same, so no big deal. Um, first, first step is to get the pictures or videos that you want from your drone to your phone. And once you land it, make sure you still have some battery because depending on how many pictures and videos you need may take a little bit of time. In the lower right-hand corner of your phone, you'll see a like play icon. Um, and then you'll see the pictures and videos that you just took. Um, and then if you want them on your phone, you just have to download them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the ones that I haven't. In the lower left-hand corner, there's a little download icon. You click on that, it'll take a little bit of time and then it'll download to your phone. Now it's on your phone and you can access it with the video editor. Now, once I have all the pictures and videos that I want on my phone, I'm gonna go into the album here in the DJI Fly app, kind of back out of everything. That's the easiest way to do that. So then connect aircraft screen, right? You're going to click on album. And then from the album, you should see all the pictures and videos that you took that day, or, or if you download them earlier on your phone, you'll still have them there. Now you can actually import pictures and videos from your iPhone that didn't actually come from your drone. So if you wanna include some of that footage, you can do that as well. Just remember, if you're using your phone to film, turn it this way, right? It's gotta be sideways, not up and down. It drives me nuts. Anyway, um, there are two different ways to kind of edit. Um, we'll uh, go through them both. So you have your pictures and videos. Uh, you can kind of look at them and play around with them there. Uh, but when you wanna edit, you have to click that Create button in the lower right-hand corner. Then you have two options right away, Templates and Pro. Now the templates are quick and easy, some tiny bit of customizability, but I found that to be a little bit glitchy in terms of when I wanted to produce, it wasn't producing the way I wanted. I just kinda of had to go with the stock, whatever it chose and go with it, right? So let me show you how to do that real quick. So first, you kind of have to choose what theme or template do you want uh, to go with your video. It pre-populates some text, some music, some filters, and transitions, um, and then it kind of gives you a time frame that you're looking for with a, a preset number of clips. So uh, you can kind of choose them on your own. I like this one called Relax. I've used that one in the past. It's four shots, 10 seconds. Uh, so I click on that. It'll give me a quick preview of what it, it'll look like when I add my clips to it. And then I click apply and then I look through my clips and then I add what I want. So I want to start with Chris and a drony. We're gonna go with Gabe on a ziggle. Uh, let's go with some horses and flying over these trees. I've selected my four shots. I click add. And you can hear it already added the music for me there. Turn it down so it's not super loud. But And then when I'm ready, I click in the upper right hand corner that uh, export button and it'll generate the video and save it to my phone. Pretty simple. We'll take a look at it. Here I am where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere And I can actually even just share right from there to Facebook or Twitter or wherever I'm going. Now, the pro version, let's back all the way out. We'll go back to album, um, create. Instead of templates, I click on pro. And this is a, a video editor. And that's not a full-fledged video editor, but it's pretty pretty decent in terms of I can do really what I want to do um, with transitions and text and music, lots of different options, even color grading, um, filters, stuff like that. So let's choose again a, a, a few clips. We'll do some different ones. We'll take this one, um, one, two, three, and there's a good one of the porch four. Right, and we'll do some, you know, highlight this house, let's say, and I'm gonna add four. 
Um, now I can go ahead and do some actual video editing. So if you look on the right hand side, I have a menu of different options. Probably the most important one is the first one you see there cut, right? Um, and the way that works is you see this first clip is like four, five minutes long. Um, that's a little over four minutes and I don't want the whole thing, right? I just, I know that I did like a, an orbit with kind of a helix at the end. Um, so I, I go to that spot, I kind of scrub that's moving the video left and right and I do that with my thumb here and I get it to the spot that I want to start, right about there. I click cut and now I've cut that video into two, two parts and the whole first part I don't want. I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, highlight it by touching the button in the bottom right corner, click delete. Now I don't need this clip to be super long, I just kind of want to showcase the house a little bit until I get to about there. And I'm going to cut it again and I'm going to delete the back half of that video by again tapping on it to highlight, tapping on it to highlight and then clicking delete. Now the second clip I'm flying over the barn and it's a pretty cool shot but I don't need to start that far away. Let's start about there, right? I click cut. I'm going to delete that first part and I move into the house where I kind of do a rocket straight up and then spin. We'll start about there. So I'm going to cut again. I'm going to delete that first part of the video. I'm going to spin around to there. I don't even need to go that far. We'll do a quick cut, delete. And the last, I'm going to do a porch. We've got a good shot of those flowers. We're going to start about there, cut, delete. All right, so I have four clips. Um, and if I go back to the beginning, I can push the play and see what that looks like. You know, not bad, kind of cool. Uh, pause. Uh, but as I get to this next clip, it just kind of goes from one clip to the next clip. And there's no transition. I like transitions. To the add transitions, I click on that little uh, slash mark in between. And then I have some options that I can dissolve, go from one to the next. I can kind of blur into the next one. I have fade to black, fade to white, and then swipe. And kind of depending on what you're looking for, you know, your transitions add a little bit of feel. I like the blur, and I like to be consistent, so I'm gonna add blur to all of them. Uh, click apply, and I like that. Um, I can change the tone of the pictures, um, right? So if, if I think they need it to be just a little bit brighter, perhaps, um, I can mess with that. Uh, contrast, saturation, temperature, vignetting, sharpness. I can do all of that. Um, I don't really want to. Uh, volume, if I add music, or if there was volume on this, right? So these were all filmed with my Mavic Air 2, so there's no volume, but like I said, you can import things from your phone. Speed, if I wanted to speed up or slow down the video, I can do that here. So let's say I just wanted that to go a little bit faster, one and a half times right there that's that's good i actually don't want it to go any faster um, but i can also slow down now keep in mind if you're going to slow things down it's better to shoot in a higher frame rate um, reverse just makes the video run in reverse pretty simple copy if you want that clip twice you copy it and then you paste it back into the video um, and then delete then the next set of icons in the second row um, the first one is just kind of the timeline, right? That's the general editor. The next one is uh, music. So let's add some music. Um, so I click on the music note and then I tap to add music. Got a ton of different choices. I want something cheerful, we'll, we'll say. Um, and you can actually preview them. Uh, this almost perfect one. It's almost perfect. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click use. Um, and it already adjusts the length of the music to match the length of my video. So that's cool. Um, and then I have some other options for editing the music um, if you want volume, rhythm, trim, right? I can add different music clips if I wanted. I just want the one. Um, the next button down adds filters. I don't want to add any filters. And then the last one adds some text, um, or the second to last one adds some text. So let's go ahead and add some text. So I click on the T, um, and then we'll add a title. Um, I believe if I double click it, then I can edit the titles. Beautiful home. Now this is actually not my beautiful home. Uh, my home is beautiful, but it's not this one. Um, this one's pretty, pretty awesome. 
I click done. Now I have text there. Um, and actually the last part is, uh, or the last button there is a, uh, an emoji or a sticker, I guess they call it. So let's add a sticker just for fun. I tap to add a sticker. And you know what? We want everyone to know this was filmed with a drone. So we'll add a drone there. Boom. Okay. Now I think I've got the video the way I want it. Um, quick and easy. I click that upload button in the upper right hand corner. You get your two options 720p, 1080p. You know, sorry there's no 4K, but really when you're dealing with social media, 720p is more than good enough. And like I said, it is faster and a quicker upload. So keep that in mind. But I'm going 1080, right? Because I'm a, you know, I'm an HD snob. <laughs> so it, it takes it a minute to go ahead and generate the video. But then once it does generate, it saves it directly to your phone. So quick and easy sharing. Um, that's definitely an advantage of using this app. And actually, if you're looking for something just quick and you want to, to snip a video, you know, this is a good tool to do that. Now you can see once I've edited um, the video, I have the option to post it right to Facebook, to Instagram, to WhatsApp, to, you know, lots of different other things. And I think in here, I can even go ahead and add, oh, look at that. So, and if I click those three dots, I can just go ahead and text it or send it via email. There's lots of different options and things that you can do. I click done and I'm done. So hopefully this was helpful, quick and easy way to edit the pictures and videos that you take with your Mavic Air 2 or your Mavic Mini on your phone. It's easy, it's free, it's quick to share on social media. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a good tool to use. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna hear more videos from us, click that subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Don't forget, we also have a website, halfchrome.com, where we've got everything from photography to FPV in terms of drones. Hey, good luck and happy flying.